Getting awesome around that trolley. But I already did Louis Armstrong at the Dome. Yeah, See, I already had some. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to get my mind around What a mistake. I'll tell you, it was right after he had Hello, Dolly. Uh -huh. And it was really big. Uh -huh. It crossed over. It was one yeah. of the first ones that crossed over. So it was really big in the white community. It was one of the first that really made a hit, Hello, Dolly. So Louis Armstrong came and I said, I got to keep the tickets. This is how I was thinking. I got to keep the tickets low enough so that the, these kids and all can come. Yeah. I'm embarrassed to tell you how cheap I sold that ticket. <laughs> it was so cheap. And, and my dad came down with me and was sitting inside the, the box office. Uh -huh. And Louie had an old timer who was with him for 40 some years. His name was Frenchie. He weighed about 450 pounds. Frenchie was huge. <laughs> and he was sitting in the box office with me and I had my dad and I'm sitting there. And he goes, he goes, Got to tell you, son, Louie ain't been sold this cheap in 40 years. <laughs> and I was dying because my daddy's listening. To <laughs> he ain't been sold this cheap in 40 years. And then, like that wasn't bad enough, my daddy's out in the uh, lobby before the show. And he said there was two doctors talking. And they said, you know, I don't know if Louie's going to be here tonight. But I couldn't take a chance on him not being here. And the reason I don't believe he's here is that the tickets are... 220 and 330. And I made him 30 because it was a tax, 10%. He said, just in case he's here, I came down, but it's no way that Louis Armstrong's playing for $3. And my father had to hear that too. <laughs> he's a boy, but he was a good he said, he's really made a mistake on the first show out. I said, hey, it's my first show. He said, I know. Yeah. So 